Hello, faithful one viewer. What's up, man? <laughs> so, we are back playing more Meth Hat uh, Beating Simulator today. But before we start, I have some cool stuff to show off. So, this came in the mail today. That's, uh, what was this called again? It's called, uh. Oh, what are they called? What are these things called? YouTube. They called YouTube. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this is a Big Daddy plushie designed by YouTube, and he—he's actually a lot cooler than I thought he would be. Like, look at this guy. Isn't this wicked? Ah. So yeah, uh, that's a that's a new thing for the B4 brand or shelf. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that up there. Oh, now it looks like he's stalking me. I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Uh, I also got another thing in the mail. I ordered this a little while ago. House of Leaves. <laughs> so I've, be I've been trying to get a hold of this book for a long time. And I, uh, I was just... Eventually, I just stopped looking in, uh, in bookshops and I just went and bought it. So... No, oh, I definitely want to read this now. I'm excited to read it. So. Mm -hmm. 
Anyway, so that's uh, that's Brandos' show and tell done for today. Uh, I guess there's nothing to do now but get into the hobo beating simulator. I see you're playing more of the best game ever existing. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty comprehensive. This is one of the best fucking games ever made. All right, let me just launch this stuff up. I was I was actually thinking about it last night, and I I actually kind of like this game. Uh, <laughs> it's it's not as I think I was given a bit of a hard time last night. I think the toy factory left a really bad taste in my mouth, but uh, I I don't think it's as bad as I seem to think it is. All right. Can you coming up? Coming up. There we are. All right, full screen that. Fuck yeah. All right, we're in it now, boys. Okay, so, uh, how many people do we have in the stream? I think it's only, I think it's still only two. Are you gonna make uh, more videos about fear? Uh, yep. Hold on one sec. Oh, three people. Cool. Okay, uh, for anybody that didn't know, uh, last night we played this entire- Shut up! Last night we played this whole level that we're about to play, um, and I just, uh, well, yeah, it, it glitched to the point where, uh, it autosaved just as a bomb was going off in my face, so we have to do the whole thing again. Anyway, am I gonna make more videos about fear? Yep. I am... Uh, going to start working on the fear 3 script right after we finish this today, and then uh, It's either gonna be ready for Friday or next Friday it depends Do you really expect to find anything out here other than a gold? Van Horn Oh man, this game is weird, dude. I, I I was thinking about this just this morning. It just doesn't really feel like uh like the original. Ethan, this is Deputy Director Farrell. What's this Going game about? Was not a good idea. Uh, so this game is about uh, it, it, okay. So in the last game, we played as an FBI agent, and uh, he's framed for the murders. Of two police officers so he has to go on a city-wide investigation figure out you know what's really going on uh, he f finds out that a serial killer has been stalking him for his whole career and uh, pretty much when he solves a case this killer goes in and murders the serial killer with their own methods and so um, at the start of the game you just accidentally caught this guy doing the thing uh, just in the act so he just kind of cuts it off. So, yeah, at the end, you go out, uh, after him is a serial killer X, and you end up capturing him. But, uh, yeah, the, the whole city's actually messed up. It turns out that he's kind of under the influence of a cult, and this cult has uh, a lot of influence over the city. And so this game, uh, this takes uh, place about a year afterwards, and our character is like, he's really in the... He's, he's gone full emo mode. He's an alcoholic... Uh, he's not doing well, and uh, we're called back because uh, the uncle of the serial killer he dies, um, and we have to do an investigation. And it turns out that this cult they're more like the Illuminati because they've got people all over the place. The mayor was a part of it, uh, pe people in the FBI are a part of it. So, uh, yeah, now we're just going to the uncle's house in the hills to try and find out some more information. So that, that's about the gist of it. It's time you level with me. No bullshit. Yes, yes, you have every right to question me. Look, there are some of us who see you as a threat, the enemy. And where do you stand? I see you. Yeah, man. Horror a games in the early 2000s are just crazy. 
mend you. I, I don't understand. Hello? Like, it, it's just so weird because the original, it was so grounded. You know, it was just a, it was a really grounded, like, gritty game. And then they just, they, they, they're like, okay. Uh, they give it up. Do I have to study this? Because I did that last time. Ah, uh, yeah, this is the 360 version. Unexpected. Your spectrometer is picking up concentrations of formaldehyde. This should be interesting. Yeah, this game was uh, never released for PC, unfortunately, for some reason. So this is technically my first time playing it. Uh, not my first time playing this level, though, because we had a glitch. Yeah, it's really weird. In this level, they just go full-on shooter, which is really strange, because that is not what this game is about at all. The shooting mechanics are so shoddy in this. What the fuck are you talking about, Ian? <laughs> I hope you do like a retrospective of the Amnesia games. Ah, maybe. I'm not like the biggest fan of Amnesia. I just feel like it's not that, um, I don't know. Uh, what, what I got on the pipeline right now is I've got, I've got to do Fear 3, going to do these Condemned games, uh, and then I'm going to do the Stalker, Stalker Clear Sky. Then my, my thing is kind of clear uh, I'm thinking of doing uh, record uh, what is it recordium I think it's just called record I don't know after that yeah man I love psychological horror horror is just my bread and butter love it all right I'm gonna Those ace this I found a body can you make an ID male armed boots uh, medium sized. Okay, got it. Fuck off, average. Uh, I'm not able to make an ID with what you sent me. Ah, uh, yep, this is live. I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. Hell of a time to change your mind. Search the main lodge, then get the heck out of there. Wait, what do you mean? Is this live playthroughs? You know I do my shit live, bro. What are you talking about? Oh, Calera, a Freddy Fazbear? It doesn't say live in the corner? Oh. Well, no, it's pre recorded. I'm responding to you uh, uh, it, several hours in the past. Because I'm built different. So tell me, are you emulating this somehow on PC? Yes. But it's okay. It's okay. I've dodged to the morally gray zone because I went out to a retro shop and I bought this fucking thing. I don't even own a PS3. <laughs> anyway. Besides. What Silent Hill games have you played? What emulator are you using? Xenia. I love this, uh, I love this, this lore you're dropping about me, Ian Mackey. B4 Brandos weighs 14 stone and keeps livestock in a cave near his home. What are you talking about, dog? <laughs> oh, Calera! A pretty fast bear! Seems to run damn good. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, 
Eh. Eh. Do fear and hunger next live stream, bro. Yeah, I don't know what stone is either. Fear is a is the one game that most people know about. Is what made most people ah uh, no that would be the evil within or Bioshock if anything fear the fear retrospectives are my one of my least uh least known retrospectives at the time right now mm -hmm. uh Freddy Fazbear leave me alone. Alright guys, so I'm not joking, I have tried everything in my power to play Fear 4. I have literally scoured all of the internet to try and- Yep. I've scoured all of the internet trying to find this shit and I cannot- I cannot find any working version, nothing, no like compromise, no nothing, no content related to Fear Online. It is impossible to get that shit. Oh! Oh fuck! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, I can't see anything. <laughs> What's up, sources? Fear Online is just a fear, a fear 2 mod anyway. Yeah, real. It's completely impossible to play Fear Online. The servers are completely pulled, though there's modders trying to fix it. Probably never going to run again. It's sad. So, you should not play Fear Online. Uh, there's actually three different uh, co-op campaigns in Fear Online. I I, I think I'm, I'm gonna do- so when I do the ultimate mega cut of the Fear series, like when I cut them all together, I'm gonna include a bonus section about Fear Online, because I've watched like a fucking couple hours of YouTube about it, like, like old ass playthroughs and shit, I've pieced together what it's mostly about. <sighs> Oh, Calera, a Freddy Fazbear? Or, 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 Where do I go? Where do I, oh. Oh, Calera, a Freddy Fazbear? A Freddy Fazbear? A Freddy Fazbear? What's up? What the fuck are you guys doing up here? Shut up. Take this. There's one shot left. Make it count. Wait for my signal. Now! Nah, bro. I was aiming for the propane tanks, baby. Left or ear audio gaming, let's go. Drag me here. Who are these guys? I don't understand. This can't be a sanctioned SCU operation. But they're using an SCU frequency. Find Van Horn's library. But do it carefully and quickly. Is that Freddy Fazbear? Look, if Freddy Fazbear dragged me here, he can't be all that bad, right? Is he gonna come save me later in the in level? Assuming this shit doesn't glitch out again? Oh. Ugh. <sighs> 
What's he gonna do? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Somebody picks up a, a rifle in front of you, you go for the one-two combo? Okay. B4 Brandos has multiple offshore accounts worth millions under the name of Carmichael Marterforge. <laughs> yeah, real. I wish. Okay. Alright, so my, my least favorite one is up there. So I'm gonna go to do th those ones first. Oh, I have to fucking. Uh, fine. Rosa, I found the door to the library, but it seems to be rigged with some sort of device. Possibly an explosive. It seems to that run on some seen. kind of electricity. Can you give me 21. More uh, D, 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 uh, yep. Yeah. Give me a minute. Oh shit, did I fuck that up? Oh, that's a, that's a 12. Sequence, but I'll tell you what I think it is. A high power detonator uh, typically used to control multiple remote blast points. Real hardcore stuff. I'm stupid. If you see a blinking LED, it means the detonator has been armed. And that's a problem. Oh. You need to find and dispose of all the remote blast points before you can even breathe on that detonator. All right, wait. The system is linked together by pneumatic tubes filled with a gas that glows under UV lighting. This should make finding the blast points easier. Okay. Alright. So, before we do this, I'm gonna do the puzzle before we have to do it. So, three blinking lights. That's 16 buttons. That's two long, one short, two canisters, 120, 12 volt. Easy. Okay. Condemned three by day one studios when? Who would the co-op partner be, though? No, I'm an alcoholic playing an alcoholic game. Oh! Ah! Boom! 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 Holy shit, I need some meds. What's up, Smoker? Good to see you back. The target is near the lodge. Where am I? Uh, wait, we have to do that mansions part again because, uh, it auto saved me 10 seconds before the bomb went off. <laughs> yep. Alright. Fuck off. Fuck off. Is this an armor? Is this armor cam? Is it, you call armor cam? Wade Mansion? No. This is the Van Horn Estate. Gosh, so show some respect. The Van Horn Estate. This game is not a shooter. You cannot convince me otherwise. It is not a fucking shooter. Do a funny voice while I play. <laughs> I'm always doing a funny voice while I play, bro. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Ah! What the fuck? Where's my bullets? Dick shot. I want some drugs. How do I get through the hole in the ground? Where are you going? I'm out of bullets. Yeah, honestly, Point Man and Paxton are probably fucking around in the basement right now. What the hell is that? Riot gun. Alright. Why does everything have to have a lab under it? Armicam loves fucking underground labs, alright? You, you don't get it. If you don't work for Armicam, you just wouldn't get it. I'm sorry. Where are you? I know there's someone else down here. Because underground labs are cool. If... How many facilities were Point Man and Paxton taken to? All of them. 
Well, don't say that about armor cam. Armor cam is way more than a, just a discount umbrella. Armor cam is like way more fucked up than umbrella is. Would you say that armor cam is more unethical than umbrella? I would. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Come on, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Why is everything so dark? Yeah, I wonder if it actually reset my gamma, because that's what it feels like. It didn't. That's wild. You stay there! You stay there! You stay there! Eh! Oh! Console aim. Console aim. Oh. Where? I just heard some footsteps. For context, what's going on in the story? Uh, how much don't you know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Let, let's get some of that. B bottoms up. Yeah, for such a influential company, Umbrella disappeared real fucking quick. Doctor, turn off my boobop cables. I just woke up and I have no clue what part of Condemned 2 you're on. Uh, uh it's just after we, 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 we just left the museum, technically. Doctor, turn off my boo wop inhibitor. I'm not watching that. I don't want to watch my favorite TV show. Do I have to go this way? Yeah, I guess so. I haven't even found a single detonator, bro. This is why I hate this part. Yeah, this is a plane crash. Nope, nope, that goes the wrong way. I hate the- I hate these two, like, parts. Cause they're just so... Like, the, these two wires are so annoying to find. <clears throat> I get the feeling one of them's in one of these rooms around here. Oh! No, not again, not again, not again! Oh, I can't see shit! Anybody else? Metal Gear Rising. Yeah, maybe. I usually stream games that I'm gonna do videos on, though. It's like a... It's just a way to hang out with you guys while I get the footage. But... Abstergo. Uh, did Umbrella do that on purpose, though? I don't think Umbrella did that on purpose. Oh, holy shit. Oh. oh, yeah, I have to climb up the, through the hole. Okay. <clears throat> it is a bit wild that Genevieve RSD just disappears after Fear 2. You would think that after all the shit she tried in Fear 3, oh, sorry, Fear 2, she would come back. But no, it's like, just bring back Beckett for two seconds and kill him. Fear 3 is a, is a real odd game. Really weird. I can't see anything. You have a date with Destiny, Mr. Beckett. Best not keep her waiting. Anybody in here? No. Alright. You'll need to disconnect the explosive from its housing and quickly get it outside. Throw it out a window if you can. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So we just opened the door here. Yep, here we are. Forgot about that. Wee. 
bringing back Beckett and Fear 3 made no sense. I thought it made quite a bit of sense. Because Fear 2, Fear 3 is like such a big thing about Fear 1, right? Oh, sorry, Fear Fear 2 is such a big part of Fear 3. Alma's pregnant because of Beckett. Well, no, Alma's pregnant because of Alma, but like, you get it. <laughs> it's a series of drunken, janky bum fights. That is literally it. You got it in one, dude. I mean, Fear 3 Beckett vibes equals the Contempt 2 protagonist vibe. I guess, but Beckett's kind of justified in it, don't you think? Besides, there's no reason they even needed to find Beckett. I don't know why they got... when They're like, we need to find Beckett to find out where Alma is. How the hell would Beckett know where Alma is? Yeah, well, the series has some weird obsession with bringing back Fettel. Oh, hello. Where? Oh, shit. Get smoked. Where's the bomb? Ah, there you are. I'm gonna throw it out of that window. I, I, I just don't really understand why, um, why. Dozens of agents just arrived at the office. <gasps> I don't recognize any of them. They're asking a lot of questions about you and Farrell. I'm getting really worried. I've denied having any contact with you. I'm getting really worried. Alright, cool. We've done the worst, the two worst ones. Oh, don't tell me there's another one. Okay. Use Fettle Bug Spray. I don't know. Fettel is a little bit of a cockroach. He won't stop coming back. Yeah, one of the points is they got was they should use... They, they should expand upon the relationship of Point Man and Fettel. And it's like, uh, what relationship? All these guys do is kind of stare at each... Like, Point Man kind of stares at Fettel angrily. And then Fettel just says bullshit. He just yaps. He's a professional yapper. Yeah, I, I don't know how Point Man has had a successful military career without ever communicating with anybody. Okay, oh, I think I'll throw it out that window. Yeah. Oh, call me Point Man. You're not coming, are you? I'm gonna die here. Alone. Yes, Jen. Yeah, point man gets an absolute D minus for communication. Whoa! Whoa! Where are you? Dead? I didn't hear a splat. Nope, nope, here they come. Where are you going, bro? Actual rat. Actual rat. Stop it. Uh, that's a good question. One that I do not think the Fear series is smart enough to tackle. The Fear series is just an excellent example of what... Of the of those old ass games that have the deep lore until you start asking like the deep questions about the deep lore and they're like, oh, I, I'm not paid enough as a writer to answer this. It was Fierce Three dumbass idea to make Point Man 
mute being canon, yeah. Yeah, it is weird. I don't know why Beckett didn't talk in Fear 2. Beckett 100% should have talked in Fear 2. If there's one thing, you can have a mute protagonist, but you should not make mute protagonists a staple of your series. That creates problems. Alright, I'm gonna throw it out... Which window? That window. Yep. Uh, fire in the hole! <laughs> what? Oh, oh, I got it out there in time. Okay. Hello, Salad Fingers. All units investigate. Ah, uh, yeah, but he, Doom Guy does talk at some point. Like in the, one of the newer games, he says like one word. <laughs> so he's just, he just doesn't talk because he's not, he's angry. And then Gordon Freeman, he's just a silent guy and everybody kind of like works around that. It's, it's kind of literally part of his character at this point. And then, how much did Point Man ever even communicate with Fettel if the HD never talked? Uh, uh yeah, they, Point Man just didn't. I, I, I don't- I never understood the idea of expanding their relationship. What relationship? Alright. MAJOR LEAGUE! <sighs> One to go. Looks like it doubles back. Have you played Trey Pang? Nope. I think I get asked this every single, <laughs> every single uh, <laughs> stream. It's in, I will be playing it soon. Man, we have a lot of people messaging. I wonder how many people do we have in the stream right now? Thirteen. Whew. Active crowd. Oh. Dead Eye Solidus. Uh, what did you think of the Toy Factory? Because that is, in my opinion, the worst level in the series so far. I did not enjoy that shit at all. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a vintage. Yeah, that tasted vintage. Uh, it's not the silly tone that gets it. It's just the fucking gameplay, bro. The burning people, the the limited visibility, turning your FOV. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You wanna come in here? You actually trying to swing on me, bro? Did you just say expired alcohol? Are you okay? What? Where? In there. A I'm using aimbot. Actually using aimbot. Go, 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 go. Yeah, this game is, uh, it is something special, I'll say that. Definitely one of the games released by Monolith. Uh, okay, where's, where's the bomb? He set the boot lodge. Uh. <coughs> That's that. 
Once all of the explosives are taken care of, get back to the detonator on the door as fast as you can. The countdown will be triggered. All right, got to hustle. Oh, I can't see shit. Me up. Door, 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 door. Hello. Aha, uh -huh. here we are. Okay. All right, what is it? All right, so it's like three flashing buttons, 16, three flashing lights, 16, 12, tw right. 120, 12, three short. Okay, let's Rosa, go. I'm let's back go. at the detonator and you're right. Six, counting down. 16 buttons. Okay, Fuck. To me. There are 16 a buttons, three blinking lights. That's a tw uh, 120 and 12. Down here we have two canisters. We have one, two short. Wait, we have two long, one short. That's it. Got it. Let's see. Hurry up, okay, Rosa. To the information you sent me. You need to cut the Rosa, the detonator's been deactivated. Whew. <laughs> yeah, Rodney Betters is, is what makes the fear games good, obviously. Holy shit, guys, you see that shit? Cleared that. Damn. Alright, we are officially in an area I haven't been in now. Woohoo! How did Point Man even get captured by Armor Cam? Uh, it was in the Fear 3 tie in comic. Uh, after the helicopter crashes, he kind of runs around for a little bit, and Paxton's kind of taunting him. And then uh, Armor Cam punches him in the face, and then he gets captured for 11 months. What a crappy library. Oh, look at this. What is it? What are we, what are we doing? Evidence? Aha. Enter the correct password. Elizabeth from Bioshock says that passwords are usually only kept like no more than five feet away. See if she was telling the truth. I bet it's like Leland or something. I bet it's like Serial Killer X. I bet it's like I was crossing the street and I saw you. Yeah, it is pretty lame. The writer of, uh, of Fear 3, I have a strong feeling he was phoning that shit in. What do you mean, which Elizabeth? Hold on. Bro, why can't I move this? Okay. The noir one? Nah. Uh, the... The innocent one. One ha hasn't committed unspeakable horrors. Boka, you're a piece of shit, so I'm gonna kill a kid. <laughs> Is that on the back of the computer? Oh, possible passwords? Alright. I'm into point man, partner, not Jin, the other guy. Uh, what, you mean... You mean Jankowski? Oh, he got killed. B4 Fear, you really know a lot about the Fear series. Yeah, man. If I get into a game series, I eat that fucking Wikipedia, bro. I eat it up. In Fear Extraction Point 1 story, I like it that towards the end, it's implied that Alma and Fettel are sort of fighting over the hospital and she's pretty much letting you go while Fettel wants you dead. Extraction Point might as well be in the end of the series. Yeah. All right. Possible passwords. Oh, man. 
vocal cords. I'm so smart. What a dumb password. Hello, Ethan. <gasps> My future is uncertain, and so I leave this message to you. I made a promise to your parents long ago, but under the circumstances, I must break that promise. Your life, the real truth, was never to be revealed, but times have changed, and I fear danger has come to you like it has come to me. When your parents defected from the Oro, they were hunted down and killed. Your identity remained a secret, and only I knew of your existence. But that is no longer the case. The Oro has reached new levels of power, and they suspect your potential and will, no doubt, see you as a threat. Now, I know foster homes were tough on you, but it was necessary to try and maintain anonymity. I hope you understand that I did my best. To complicate matters, my nephew, the person you know as SKX, just recently found hope in the Oro. This was never my intention. In fact, I've spent the majority of my life opposing the Oro. They were responsible for the death of my wife and child so many years ago. This put my nephew and me at odds, resulting in the current state of my affairs. He will stop at nothing to become one of them. And this is why our paths are crossing once again. Be careful, Ethan. The Oro's power is intoxicating. Crippling and I was ready with that shit. Fuck out of here. One sec, guys. I just had the anxiety inducing feeling of uh, when you like recording something and then you're like, is this actually recording? Hold on. Should be 40 minutes. Why is it outputting to fear three? Okay. All right. <laughs> I was so scared, man. I went into the condemned folder and it wasn't there. And um, <laughs> it turns out it was outputting uh, footage into fear three. Nah, bro, Holiday's a real one. He wouldn't die like that. Yeah! Come here! Come here, come here, bitch boy! Come on, come on! <clears throat> What's going on? Give me your gun! There we go. Squad, move in! Okay. Whoo! I think that's it. Whoa! Thanks, Shadow. I'm an alcoholic. I'm getting withdrawals. Alcoholism is such a fucking interesting. <laughs> yeah! Oh! 
Hold on. Still there? Holy shit! More of them. Holy crap, come on, man. Come on. I need you all to die now, please. Fuck. Mr. Thomas, get in. When your pilot failed to check in, Rosa sent me up here to look after you. I'm glad I came. Get in! Where? What do you mean, get in? Oh shit! Come on! I need that. Uh. Woohoo! Dorland's agents are everywhere. I'm afraid to step outside my lab. If they find out I've been helping you, I I don't know what they'll do. What about Farrell? Right now, Dorlan and his agents are acting as if nothing is out of the ordinary. And the commissioner is here, and he and Dorlan are acting like old college buddies. I mean, the city is crumbling all around us. Riots, fires, murders, and now this? I, what's going on? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just worried something bad is about to happen. I'm sure there's an explanation for all this. Why is the commissioner there? Found who? Bruh. SKX. Near the old bowling alley in Trenton. As wild as this may sound, SKX can help us. Speak to him. Uh ask him why all of this is happening. Nah, the audio is not desyncing. It's just the game. I'll get it out of him. Dolan's men are there and they're not letting anyone near the scene. Leave that to me, Rosa. I can get us in. How do I know you're not working with Dorlan right now? I've taken my last order from that asshole. Okay. Ethan, LaRue is the only other agent I trust right now. There's nobody else. No one. We're on our own. Fuck. Alright, so pretty much we have to blow up police headquarters. I think that'll fix the problem. Steel toe boots give you the, the stomp kick combo. Massive. Bro, can we get a fucking fear team down here, bro? They're holding SKX in the bus. We need to act fast before they take him to SCU. I'll draw the two agents away while you sneak in. What about the guy inside? That's your call. But whatever you do, do it quietly. Dude, like... I mean, in canon, fear was established, like, three years ago in this universe, right? Fucking hell, there's obviously some, like, weird shit going on in Metro City, bro. <laughs> hey, where we at on getting this transport out of here? Uh, we're just waiting for the okay. Apparently there's some sort of confusion on what to do with them. <laughs> Not like typical agency red tape. You got a smoke? Yeah, sure. Oh! Oh! Dun 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 Let's go! Fucking holy shit! Cleaning up! I sneak with my fists. After the events of Condemned 2, Ethan shaves his long beard and joins the fear team as the sergeant. Yep. You son of a bitch! Look at this guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to sneak around, but I'm drunk as fuck and I keep falling over. What's up, dude? Dude? He's... Why did you kill your uncle? He refused. What about the mayor? Did you kill her for the same reason? 
Jesus! <laughs> How's the finger? Miss it? Damn. Do you think of me when you go to scratch? Answer my question, you sick bastard! Or the fingers you left me will wrap around your neck. Answer me! Such power! The Oro? Of course, the Oro! Why kill Van Horn and the mayor? Their body is possessed. The Oro's secret. It's necessary. Guys, sorry, one second. Can I just say that, um, why does Serial Killer X call himself Serial Killer X? He was only nicknamed Serial Killer X by Rosa and Ethan. And the only reason he was called that was because he crossed out people's names on the, on the board. How the fuck does he know that he's called Serial Killer X? <laughs> what? Um, uh, also, yeah. Massive, massive glow down from Serial Killer X, by the way. You know, Rosa and Ethan got buff, Rosa got de aged. Serial Killer X, what the fuck, dude? Oro, who are they? Where can I find them? Mr. Thomas, we need to get out of here. Pronto. Are you serious? Are you actually serious? on <laughs> now give 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 Ethan a break he's drunk you know shit LaRue oh hey dude hurry oh, okay <laughs> you gotta be all right there all right Leland, you son of a bitch! That's not Leland. I don't get. Oh! Boom! Power of the taser. Okay, this is fucked. Oh! Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh, I got the 22 now. Blam, blam, blam. Attack me with a bowling pin? What the hell? Oh shit! They're coming out of the walls! <laughs> Anybody got any drugs? I could use some drugs. Whoo! Whoo! Okay. Uh, how many bullets do I have? One. Jeez. The fuck? Are you beating up my boy? What the hell? Dickhead. I would teabag you if there was a crouching button in this game. Okay, so as far as I can tell with the Sonic emitters, in the lore, is it that they attract people to them and then they incite violence? Is that what they do? Because they seem to attract birds, but the birds just die because they can't handle it. Is this a bowling ball? Oh, this is going to be great. I like how the Oro wants world domination, but then they're like, uh, make everybody crazy. Ethan, come in. LaRue's not responding. What's happening? Oh, he's dead. LaRue's hurt, and that bastard SKX has escaped. What? I I'll send help. Don't let SKX get away. I'm sorry, send help? Who are you going to send help? Uh, I don't think that's what they do. Can I, can I not drink this? Alright, Ethan doesn't like the champagne, I guess. Okay. 
<coughs> Be careful. I'm a drunk. My bottle is- my weapon is alcohol! <coughs> oh! My weapon is alcohol! My weapon is alcohol! Yeah! Officer Becker? Yep. I remember hearing that they make noise so the homeless people can't sleep. No, I think that they literally incite violence. Well, so, so, alcohol demon guy said that they attract birds, so I'm just assuming that they attract people as well. Like, what's this? I still wish that it was just super drugs, to be honest. Yeah, I just- I, I still kind of wish that it was just drugs that were making them go crazy. Hey, dude. C can I have that? Thanks, dude. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, okay. Oh, fight! Let's go. Boom. Oh! Oh, too many! Oh shit. Woo! Oh, this is getting real. Oh, what the hell? You know what? You guys have fun in there. The swing time is insane on this! Fucking Reinhardt hammer, bro. Oh! Damn! Welcome to bum fights. Hey, B4, is this your first time? Ow! No! Stop, stop, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Stop using your hit scan brick. Ah, uh, yeah, first time playing this all the way through. I got a bowling ball for your head. Oh, I need some meds hard. Hardcore meds. Ah, uh, yeah, it's my first time playing. However. Oh. Boom! Boom! What the fuck? Dog, seriously. Boom! Take you downtown. Those hospital bills are gonna kill you. Uh, yeah, first time playing this all the way through, but I pretty much know all the lore of Condemned. Because I'm a chronic Wikipedia reader. Look like love taps, bro. Yeah, they're the, they're the warm up for the main event, and that's the execution. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Come on, give me something. Oh, you're going down. Oh, <laughs> what? I'm sorry? <laughs> this was a deluxe looking bowling alley. Looks like Freddy Fazbear's. Yeah, real. Holy shit, I just remembered. Yeah, I've had this combo the whole time. I forgot I had it. Oh, come on. I actually think it's actually 
excellent character progression for Ethan to become a bum. I mean, come on, like, the guy was, like, fighting cunts in alleys. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have said that word. YouTube, it's a, you, it's an Australian expression. He was fighting people in alleys for, like, all of last game. I think that, you know, it's very natural for him to become what he <laughs> loves to just beat up. I mean, as a bum, he can fight people all day. Yep, I've broken the YouTube rule. I'm never going to be f featured on, on YouTube Rewind now. Boom! You want some? You want some? Oh! Oh! Uh, uh, oh! 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 Is Ethan homeless? How does he buy beer? Uh, probably beats up people, robs them, buys beer with it. Being Australian should give you a pass. Yeah, but some people don't get it. Some people just don't get it that it's part of, like, pretty normal Australian vocabulary. They're like, oh my gosh, that is the most offensive word I've ever heard. Oh, ho, ho. Have you had your... Oh, yeah. Execution time, baby. Boom! Boom! Have you had your fill of head trauma today? Oh my gosh. Did he just say the C word? Oh my gosh. What the fuck is a gun doing in a bowling alley? I'm sorry. That, I, that just registered with me. Ethan is definitely trying to emulate Max Payne. Yeah, he's he's not an alcoholic because he he needs it. He's an alcoholic because uh, because he's just he's real, he wants to be Max Payne. Ethan can't do the cool dive thing though. He won't jump off a building while shooting. He's just not cool like that. Not as cool as the big M. Question, YouTube. Okay. What do I have to s strike a score? YouTube won't let me finish my sentence. What is your sentence? Is, do you, are you saying the C word in it? It's probably like blocking you if you're doing that. The C word. Is there like a hole in the wall? That would make sense for this game. No. Hello? Where am I going? Where's the hole in the wall? There's always a hole in the wall. Can I use my bum sense to find out where I need to go? What is that? Nothing. You know what's crazy? Question, Brandos. Have you watched Japanese Spider-Man? Nope. Seen a few clips of it. The Emissary of Hell. I think I gotta get in there. How do I get in there though? There's like no door. Drake, why is there no door to the manager's office? Oh, 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 what was that? Rosa, I found some sort of list. Hold on. What, the scoreboard? <laughs> One of Dorland's men just walked by. Okay, give me the details. Oh, look at this. Put name to uncle? Ah, uh, that would be Van Horn. Put name to Mayo, that would be oh uh oh her name's is her name is Mars, isn't it? Put name to director, Farrell, Magic Man. Unknown. The info 
info is coming in now. I'm huge. Let's go. A strange collection of names to find in a bowling alley. I recognize all of them. Except oh shit! Man. That's the mayor's head. Okay. Thanks, dude. Then we still have a problem. And a head. Condemned and heavy rain crossover. Real. Ah. Nobody throw a bowling ball. I, I, I can't expect anything. I can't expect like any any less degenerate behavior out of this game. I can absolutely see a scripted cutscene where Ethan gets attacked by a bum throwing bowling balls at him. Half-ass playthroughs, that is the worst thing I think I've ever heard. Are you doing graffiti? Oh I'm so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wait, are you gonna are you gonna attack me? Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay, dickhead. Now oh, fuck that! Give me my lever rifle back. Are you hiding? Because if you're doing it, it's a you're doing a real bad job, dude. What the hell? <laughs> Embarrassing. I'm gonna put your head through the wall! Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, there's no crouch in this one. Any, like, cool movement you're thinking Ethan might be capable of? No. Fuck this city's ghetto. Dude, my flashlight's back! Since when? Also, in the tutorial, it tells me I can show- uh, I can turn the flashlight on and off, but, uh... Yeah, it's- it- that did- just take away that feature. What the hell is that? That's my name! Crackhead? Crackheads. While well, talking about screw that HUD in Fear 2, the HUD is one of the ugliest things I have ever seen in a video game from Fear 2. It, it, honestly, it makes the game feel so cheap, I don't even know why. Is this the school from the last game? Is- No way, really? Oh shit, I thought I recognized that door model. Oh shit, wait a minute. What? Oh, how about that? Okay. Oh, wow, nice spot. Is there a thing in this locker? Where is it? Ah. I've just visited the old Trenton bowling alley where there is currently some form of SCU operation proceeding. A person of significant interest who could potentially be at the root of the evil that befalls our city is supposedly inside. I will stay here until we know exactly what is going on. That guy, that guy just needs to stop reporting, bro. He's so dramatic, man. What's up? Can't kick down the door, can't do, can't do anything, can't do anything.
You know, they, they did a good job of making that that sonic emitter an unpleasant noise, man. Uh Uh -huh. I want to hear Diego Rodriguez's update on the situation at Armor Cam. Is Diego Rodriguez the... No, that's Martinez. Who the fuck is Di Diego Rodriguez? Question, how do you think this city is still functional? I don't know. I think it's kind of ridiculous that they made the city this dog shit and it's still like... They, they're still trying to do the fear thing where they're like, everything's okay outside of these bu couple buildings. Dude, every building I go into in these games is full of crackheads that want to kill me. Like, no, nah, this city is not functioning. You got to bring in the fucking National Guard for this shit, bro. This, this is out of control. Guys, how do I get out of you? What am I doing? I want to go into the school. <coughs> Okay. Uh, all right, all right. The, the oh, fuck off! I can hear it right here. Hi, Brandos. When is the next three-hour masterpiece coming? Wink, wink. Ah, uh, good question, dude. Um. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do any more, like, mega videos, like, multiple hour videos. Uh, Evil Within was a very tough one, and it was really hard to make. Uh, you know, like, even mentally, it was pretty, pretty taxing. Um, and, and while I'm, like, working the job that I am, uh, which I am quitting soon, uh, I, I just don't think I could work on that. If I were to do YouTube full-time, I could do, like, really long videos like that again, but, um the current idea is is that if i do series i'm going to do them incrementally like i'm doing with the fear series and then once i finish all those videos i'm going to wrap them up into a nice little mega cut and then i will uh add a few little bits and bobs make them flow properly and then that's how i'll make my mega videos for the meantime In the meantime, this is where I get off. Slog, am I stupid? Wait, wait, what is that? Nope, oh, okay, never mind. The voice. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. <laughs> ah, here we are. Bro, you don't need Alma Wade to make this place uh, a shithole. As long as the video will be composed flawlessly. Well, I studied my Evil Within video um, and how I made it. And it, it turns out I could have split that shit up into three videos anyways. Uh, it, like, you do the full retrospective, you give the score... And then all I really need to do is cut out the intro bit. So it's not like every single time you'll be like going like, and this is fear. This is, this is the next fear thing. Uh, you know, it, it'll just take a little bit of cutting, cut off the intro, add a little bit of a different introduction. It, it shouldn't be too hard. I'm also going to add a fear online section specifically for the mega cut of the fear video. Whoa. Ew. Torture device? What the fuck? Ew! Where am I? <laughs> oh, what the hell? What the fuck is this? Holy shit, bro. What the fuck is wrong with this city? No, it has no story, but it is interesting because it's the last bit of fear thing we ever got. I, so I think it's important. Because it, it's like... Fear 3 was the last real attempt to do something with the Fear series. Fear Online was just milking it. Oh yeah, also Fear Online's not canon, but whatever. Uh, so I took a photo of it. Holy shit, dude. You good, bro? Uh, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take a photo of you. No 
Yes. Can I let this guy out? I feel kind of bad for him. I guess not. I mean, it, does, it kind of looks like he's just stuck in there. It doesn't look like he's doing anything to him. Torture rack, that's nice. Well, I need a drink. What the fuck is this? Is this SKX's den? Any upcoming games you're looking forward to? What the hell was that? Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. I'm excited about that because it's uh, in the Arkhamverse. Gameplay also looks fun. Live service bit about it? Ah, uh, that's a little interesting, but I... <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't seem to be like the main focus of the game. Obviously, they're trying to like... Oh! Hey, dude! Oh. I'm gonna snap his neck. Why? What else am I excited about? Um, Alone in the Dark. That, the new game. Excited about that. I wonder if they're finally gonna do a good Alone in the Dark game. How am I playing this? Emulation. Yeah, we're gonna see how they handle the live service stuff. Considering the outcry, it would be it would make sense for them to kind of fix that shit and put a less emphasis on it. But knowing that what's his name, what's that? What's that weirdo's name? The guy that runs it. I don't know that weird ass billionaire that sounds like a robot that runs WB. He's like, we really want positive cash flow. We want we want WB to make a lot of money. Yeah, no shit. Photograph the torture device. Okay. Hey, at least he's got a urinal in there. Zaslav, yeah. David Zaslav. Dude, this dog is tweaking, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, chill. Oh. You good? Okay. Tweaking, bro. Take tweaking. 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 Chill. Chill. Oh, I'm fucking this up, dude. Okay, there we go. There we go. In the flow. This is so fucked, dude. Why am I struggling with the bum fight? I can't get a combo in! Oh! Oh! You are- I'm gonna put your head through a wall, dude. Holy shit. Where did you borrow the game? I will not confirm nor deny. And also, I have a copy of Condemned 2 sitting up there because I figured I would buy it. Um, what's the next stream and what are you going to be playing? When's the next stream and what are you going to be playing? Uh, I don't know when the next stream is. Uh, this is my last week of holidays, so I can't do early streams. It'll probably start being on weekends from now on. And the next one will probably be Clear Sky. Ah, uh, Stalker Clear Sky. Photograph it. Holy shit, he's just in there. This dog is tweaking. David Zaslav is an absolute fucking... Oh yeah, hey, look, this is the school. Oh! He's out! He's loose! Sorry, doggy. Where's the place that I was thrown through the wall in? Oh, okay, I can't go back in there. 
Okay, well, shit, that's not rendered anymore. Fucking hell. Holy shit. Uh, shit is going down in Metro City. That's all I can say. Shit is going down. <coughs> what the fuck? I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. Oh. Oh, okay. There we go. Oh, shit. Uh... Anything else I can throw? Do I have to just go beat it up? I gotta go beat it up. Ha, oh, come here, you son of a- Oh, okay. Can't do it. Can I pick that up? Can I pick that up? No. 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 Okay. No. This city is such a shithole. I would never live in this city. Real. I'll say I said it once, say it again. You don't have to pay me to live in this city. What's going on? Okay. Oh, there we go. I'm coming for your net for you now. Gotcha. What's inside those bags? Oh. I don't know. Uh no one condemned, probably like good, good uh, dead bodies, or yeah, this this does make Gotham City look like a paradise. Like Batman, this place needs a Batman pronto. Ba Batman would have a field day in this place because it's not even organized crime; it's just a bunch of people that want to fight. The fight pit, holy shit. The pit. We're going to the pit, boys. I think this is the way to the, uh... The gym. Oh! Sick. Okay, but... Are you not gonna comment on the, the crackheads... Like, climbing on the walls, dude? I just wanna know, like, how can subsonic frequencies turn people into, like, actual... Monsters that are crawling on the walls that, that that's the one thing I don't like about this game is when they start talking about like mutations and stuff What do you mean mutations? What are you talking about? Uh Oh, who's this? Farrell. Oh shit Rosa, no. I'm in. I've located Farrell. You did? Is he alright? Ah, uh, this condition? This guy looks kind of This guy looks pretty fucking dead, bro. Oh, you look. I don't know. I'm not sure, but he's cut up pretty badly. Okay. Well, the list of names now makes sense. It's the list of SKX's target. Hey! The magic man? It's my man! Is, must be next. What's up? SKX is oh, shit. Me. Same as he did with the others. Help me. Cut these straps so I can get out of here. He's experimenting on the homeless, testing, perfecting. Hurry, they know you're here. All right, guys. So, um, controversial opinion, but why do I need to cut these straps? Can't I just like <clears throat> undo the buckle? You know. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Is this even like a human anymore? Like at this point? What is that? What is that? 
Hey, my cleaver. Not, not yours anymore. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I found something. That should do it. Quickly now. Shit. SKX is delusional and psychotic, I... just like his test subjects. Yeah, who would have thought? Cautiously. All right, I don't think this guy's gonna make it out of the building. Real. You coming, dude? Yeah, the suffering's an interesting series. <coughs> Farrell, come on. Whoa! Oh, I'm fumbling. Fumbling. Oh, come on. Did I say I was fumbling? I meant balling. Yeah! Come here. Come on, Farrell. Oh, come on. Oh, Alright, fine. Farrell looks pretty good, considering that he's been, like, tortured a bit. <laughs> oh, hey, dude! Boom! Coming in. Boom. Who are you? Oh. Ethan, can you stop murdering homeless people with a machete? It kind of makes me think if I'm on the right side here. Shut up, I'm an alcoholic. That's my excuse. Boom! You might look ugly, but you're no match for good old murder. Boom! Justice, justice delivered. I am a police officer, so murder with a machete is legal. Is this the way up to the gym? Yeah, what the fuck? Fight dome. Dude, bum fights? Holy shit, actual bum fights. This is crazy. Oh, it's about to get real, guys. Let's go. Neck snap! Yeah! I'm a cop, by the way. I'm a cop. Where? 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 If I walk near this, do I get hurt? Boom! What are you gonna- Spray me to death? Oh shit! Get the fuck out of my arena! Holy shit! Disgusting creatures, wouldn't you agree, Mr. Thomas? Who? Oh, what the hell? Dorland. The two-faced rat himself. You still haven't grasped the situation, have you? Farrell's your executioner. He's not worthy of your loyalty. Don't do this, Dorland. He belongs with us. You're a fool if you don't see that. 
When did the SCU employ murderers? I take orders from the Oro, and so should he. Isn't that right? Get up! Finish we're, the job! We're gonna fight? Kill him before he ruins everything! No! Do it! Remember who you are! Feral boss fight! I've risked everything. Find the voice. What is going on? What is going on, dude? His head exploded. <clears throat> oh, it's going down. Goofy ass run animation, bro. Over there. Team up. Yeah. What's this about? <laughs> I thought you were on their side. Shut up. Think of this. As a future investment. Yes. I look forward to cutting you open. Learn your little secret. But now is not the time. Looks like we're working together again, Mr. Thomas. Ethan, something's happened. There's panic. Dorland's agents are gathering everyone up for questioning. They're looking for you. Rosa, listen to me. The Magic Man. I, I know that name. A real tricky son of a bitch. Hangs out at Svensson's Magic Theater. Have you heard of it? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Meet me there as soon as you can. And make sure you're not followed. Okay, I'm on my way. Dude, this shit is getting crazy, man. <laughs> this is going wild. It's like every time you think that things can't get worse, they get worse. I'm losing it. Let's do this. <laughs> Defeat the alcohol demon. Bottoms up. <laughs> oh, you want to go, son? I have to take it a big swig. I'm going to fuck you up. Ho! Oh. You're the lesser Ethan Thomas. I was beating up bums before you were even around. Ethan, what wake up. What the fuck? It's okay, you were having a nightmare. Ah, damn. My head is killing me. You're exhausted. We both are. I've been fighting people all night. <laughs> like I was saying, SKX is out of the picture. Dorland and the Oro are our main concern. I think I just beat my my alcohol. If we're right, the magic man can help us. I'm sorry. Is that that uh, is is that actually it? Did I actually just beat my alcohol addiction by like punching an imaginary person three times? There's no way. 
Uh, there, there's actually no way. Okay, so I, I've heard that if you, like, it, it, I've heard that after you beat your alcohol addiction in this game, your hands don't shake with a gun anymore. So if we get a gun and our hands aren't shaking, that is actually going to have been the fight. That will be crazy. Okay, give me the briefing, boss. What are we doing? Nothing? Okay. Before Brandos sent letters to seven Fortune 500 CEOs that resulted in the termination of 1.3% of all high of germination specialists in Austria. Ian, what the fuck are you talking about? Actually just saying words, man. You're just an actual professional yapper in the chat. Ian Mackey. <laughs> Alright, what's the plan? There is no plan. I'm gonna go beat some people up. The house of illusion, the slight of hand, the bizarre and unexplainable welcomes you. The magic man welcomes you. Santa Cohen? Please, have your tickets ready. We aim to astound and amaze, so let's get started. A wonderful treat awaits. Expect the unexpected. Someone played Bioshock and they're like, guys, you know Santa Cohen? Let's do that. What is this? Honestly, I, I kind of like it. You know, I like that they, they re the game's really gone really edgy and then they, just, they commit to being weird as fuck. the move. Wait, what's that? What's this? Oh. Okay, here we go. I've updated your field kit with some interesting information regarding the Oro. Alright. I've searched for information regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. However, I managed to locate a few fan sites on the internet. From what I can gather, the name Oro is short for Oro Invictus, which means invincible voice. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Oh. Pretty remarkable, if true. But we must consider the source. See anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? What's the origin of the name Oro Invictus? Were humans even around 2,000 years ago? That is the most Ethan Thomas question ever. The Apple seed. Apples. You see anything about the Oro's purpose, their objective? No specifics, but I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate, possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. However, the information is too sketchy to establish anything concrete. Holy shit, dude. Oh, that was an elevator, okay. Gotcha. play that again? Is he like... His name, Ethan Thomas. His issue, a drunken washed up SCU agent with a chip on his shoulder. Uh-huh. What a dickhead. Out of all the things to report, he's gonna report on a drunken SCU officer that is missing. Nice job, news. Ugh. <sighs> 
Oh, I hear a, uh, I hear a thingy. I wonder if the, uh, the kind of the emitters, the sonic emitters, if they drive people insane permanently. Because it, it seems like just because you destroy something in an area doesn't mean that it, it gets any better. These guys are alive, okay. Uh, is this another goofy ass puzzle, bro? What am I doing? Look, I don't need a shrink. No doors, no nothing. Okay. Oh, oh, here we are. Hey, what's up, Baker Dose? Baker Dose. It uh, it is certainly an uh, an interesting game. I'll say that much. Oh, hello! Oh. Whoa! Chill, 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 chill. Those are some dur durable ladies. Holy shit! Doing all right. Got maxed out on paper towels now. What are you talking about? Oh, out of my way. Oh, chill, bro. I sit on a throne of white paper sheets. Thanks to belated Christmas gifts from relatives. Nice. No. Where's that lever? Man, those girls are tough cookies. Can you imagine taking an axe to the face and just shrugging it off? Built different. Who the hell is this guy? You okay, dude? This is the ticket master? Push in sword. What the fuck? What the hell? Oh shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What's that? Alright.
Man. I mean, who the fuck is this guy anyway? What are you doing, bro? Oh, man. Hey, I've updated your kit with more info. Check it out. Before leaving the SCU, I managed to grab the disc Dorland's agents found on SKX. It's some sort of journal he was keeping. Most of it's meaningless babble, but listen to this. The root of the Oro's plan revolves around a tradition called Sonic Generation. It's the ability to produce complex sounds that project out from not just the mouth, but the entire body. People subjected to these sound waves experience acute bouts of paranoia. This is followed by hallucinatory episodes that slip quickly into psychosis and other forms of uncontrolled violent behavior. It goes on to say, people with natural tendencies to be violent become even more so when exposed to these sonic emissions. Ethan, the implications of this are huge. What the hell? Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong in the city? Maybe not all. It's probably just the rambles of a man who's psychotic himself. But something about it rings true, though. Imagine if all of man's atrocities, war, murder, acts of cruelty, the very origins of crime itself can be explained and linked to this group. I'll admit it's pretty far-fetched, but a tantalizing theory nonetheless. <laughs> How do you spell Oro? That is an Ethan Thomas question. Does Dolan know you have the desk? Does he describe how sonic generation works? Does he describe how sonic generation works? He does. It's a little sci-fi, but here's what he wrote. Their ability to create sonic tones is due in part to an enlarged hollow sternum and a higher than normal bone density. Unique vocal cords can create, when trained, complex sounds that reverberate through the sternum and chest cavity like a finely tuned instrument. Now get this. Various metal apparatuses surgically implanted into the bone and skin can amplify the effect. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Sorry, that probably means that Ethan is uh, one of these guys, because he he has that like blacked out sternum from the uh, first game. It's kind of crazy they were cooking this shit since the first game. Considering how, like, far-fetched it seems, and not Origins 1. Alright. Boo! Like a bird, you are drawn to me. And like a bird, you find retreat impossible. I'm not here to play your fucked up games, Magic Man. No. No, not like a bird. Not like those other helpless people lining the bowels of the city. Enough babbling! Come out so I can see you. Bro speaking You're Japanese. So easily influenced. That much is obvious. That that would be so ordinary. I'm built different. You're much more, aren't you? <laughs> what is going on? What is going on in this game, man? Is this actually Condemned 2? This does not feel like Condemned 2. This is... This game is crazy, dude. Oh, hey, what's up? Boom! 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 The hammer of justice is unisex. Like a moth becoming a butterfly. Santa Cohen! Oh. oh, does he have those powers? What? No, stop. Don't do that. Don't do it again. Ah. Uh, I got to I got to throw some shit at him. What the hell's this? Go.
I gotta get out of here. Fuck, 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 fuck. Anything I can throw at him, dude? Aha! Power of alcoholism! Yeah! 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 Where is he? Aha! Got you now, don't I? Was... No way, that's it? Okay... The underground is a buzz, Mr. Thomas. How do you know who I am? Fear travels fast. Start making some sense. Remendium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth. A bedtime story. But now... You've made them think otherwise. You can all go to hell. Wait! Please! It's a gift! The ideal body. Perfectly tuned from birth. Capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and bone. It's what they fear most. A power greater than theirs. This is bullshit. Are you a member of the Aura? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you, they are on the verge of suffocating this city. What? Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and hungry for power. Where can I find them? Oh, you, you don't know what you're asking. I can't... All right! Ah, the peninsula. The answers you want are there. A warning to the old, the young, and the weak at heart. It only gets more fantastical. More, dare I say, fucked up from here. <laughs> Send my regards, Mr. Thomas. Okay. Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's going on in this game anymore, dude. <laughs> Are you sure about this? So I have Absolutely. cool powers. The barge is the quickest way to the peninsula. But it's nothing but a landfill. I actually According did fight a wizard. Man, what the fuck? We can find the Oro. Maybe we should call the police. You said it yourself. We are the police. We can't trust anyone now. Rosa, I've rattled their cage. This may be our only chance to get to the bottom of what's going on. They want me dead. Dorlin made that perfectly clear more than once. We unlocked our power using birds. Stay away from me. No, you don't understand. Rosa, are you serious? Oh. Rosa, I'm built different. You're the one that literally told me that in the first game. This game is just something else, dude. I don't know what to say about it. This is, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting game. Rosa, come in. Talk to me. Shit. Uh, so this is the best view we got of Metro City. 
pretty, uh, yeah, not bad. Not very remarkable looking city. In fact, it looks pretty crap considering... No, it looks pretty good considering how crap the whole place is, but... Out of fiction, El Seti is... I'll give that a... Yeah, Metro City gets a nice little 8 out of 10. You want to go? Come on, let's fight. <coughs> so, Ethan Thomas, is our everyman protagonist, is now the chosen one. And, uh... And he's also got superpowers. That is something I did not see when I first... <laughs> I did not see that coming when I first started playing Condemned. Yeah, every single building, even the tallest one in Metro City, full of crackheads. Ethan Thomas being the chosen one and having superpowers is not something I had on my Condemned Bingo card. So where are you? Yeah. I think I made a mistake coming down here. I didn't know what else to do. I... Oh god, there's something down here. Okay, find a place to hide and wait for me. No more meltdowns. Oh my gosh, Ethan, you're... You got superpowers. Ah. That's so much scarier than you being an unpredictable, hallucinating, drunk hobo. Well... Fighting? Are we fighting? Nope. Ugh, what the fuck? Dude. Boom! Super, locker, door, combo. What's that, guys? Just gotta get some water. Hassan stream coming up.
They're on the pen peninsula. That's like saying they're on the coast. How many people do we have in the, in the stream right now? Eleven. Hello, eleven people. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Just oh, one second. Just gotta check something. Yep. All right, cool. All right, let's game. Ethan, the the Oros in the city. In the city? I knew it. What the fuck is going on with the screen? I can't see shit. <laughs> Does anybody get the I uh, the feeling that they either really cut down really cut down the magic man section or just straight up wasted it? Like I really felt like that was meant to be a lot more to that. But I don't know. Hey, I got an extra bar of health. Huge. Cookie, how do you want to die? <sighs> yeah, I, I just don't really know why they. It was so, it was so quick. Like, it, it seems like that would have been better suited than uh, I don't know. There's been a couple levels that I think they could have taken out and extended the magic one. Like. Like as as stupid as Magic Man was, you know, it it, it was uh it was kind of cool. I liked the vibe, and it was just what ten minutes long. Uh, that's just weird to me. Let's go. I got a couple of the scrawny ones. Rosa, what's happening? Lay low for Christ's sake. I'm working my way to the far end of the barge. Meet me there. Fake out. Oh. See ya. 
it's so funny if you fail one of those, how Ether just stops attacking him. He's like, he just gets off him. He's like, oh, my bad, dude. Next snap! Youch. Dead people in here? Shit. My favorite show. I'm sorry, but this the events of this game have taken place over, like, one night, right? So, like, this, uh, this has got to be pretty concerning to, I mean, if not the government, like, at least other countries, right? This is insane. Shock reference. Oh, so I, how do I? Oh, okay. Open the silo doors. They're coming for us. Oh, shit. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What am I doing? Oh, he's quick. Run, Ethan! Where am I, where am I going? Charge into the door for me, please. Wait a minute, is that a cop? Oh, go, 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 go. Oh shit, what the fuck, dude? Chill! Oh, come on, come on, go, 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 go! Woo! Oh man, what am I doing? Wait, 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 wait what's this? Oh, I gotcha! Woohoo! The fuck was that, dude? Why is he so big? Alright, no thanks. Look at this guy! Oh! No, he's coming for me! Dude, I'm, I'm out of stamina, give me a sec! Oh, 
Yep. What a what a what the hell was that, dude? <laughs> Oh shit! Dude, what are you? What are you? Oh, 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 I'm fucked. I'm fucked. Run, Ethan! Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, dude. Oh shit. Block. Do. Alright, here we go. <laughs> I gotta get out. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna die. Alright, just kill me. Come on. <laughs> Crackheads, man. So now I want to come down here. Well, I want to go around. What am I doing? Get out of my way, dog. Excuse me. Oh, what a punch. Ah. Ah. He's so fat. Get out of my way. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, I fucked it again, guys. I'm sorry. Alright, get it over with. Okay, let's try that again. Alright, wait, so planning my route first. Where am I where do I want to go? Wait, he th he throws this at me. Maybe it's I don't know. Go, go, go! Oh, look at that! Oh, huge! Okay, I got it. Inside the bus. Thank you, I'll take that. Oh, big city. Huge city. No wonder the Oro want it. Hey guys, don't you find it weird that, that that bear sequence was such a big deal and then they just, like, forgot about it? The bear dragged us away and then we never saw it again. Are you actually dead? What was that? <laughs> Is 
Is that our girl? Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, ho, ho. Uh oh. I barricaded myself inside a room, but I don't know how long I can hold out. Oh. Dispose of metal junkies? And how do you want me to do that one? I didn't even kill one. Hey, fellas. Shit. You have to give me a second there. Oh, what is this like a special bolt or something? I think it might be. The bear section looked like a highlight, then we don't see it again. Yeah. I, th I thought it was like a, a build up. Oh, is it coming? Uh oh. Oh, dude. Hey, what's up? One down. Come on, motherfuckers. Oh, sweet. Mm, no. Dude, this is not about you. All right, gotta find another one of those. Loser. Got any more crossbow bolts for me? What am I playing the evil within right now? Oh, or a crossbow. Wait. Does this have anything in it? Nope. You guys give me a second, I need... I'm looking for a crossbow bolt thingy-majiggy. What the hell is this? It's so bright. Is it a case where I have to kill them, like, with different ways? That's what it feels like. Ah, uh, I think I gotta get up there. Okay. Juped! Ow. I'm sorry. <laughs> now what exactly? Uh, oh, that's a pipe fitting. Okay. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah! Now you are going in the trash compactor. You have fun in there. Yeah! Loser. Can you go down there? I need to magnet you. No, you're still pissed at me? Okay. Okay, so I think we have to, we're, we're like gonna... Oh! Fucking hell. I think we're gonna like kill each one in a unique way. Chill, chill, chill. Hey, come on, come down here. So there's no more crossbow bolts around here then. Nope. Wait, there's one right there. No, there's not. Okay. So does the game take into account, like, I might have used my crossbow bolt unwisely a second ago? Fitting. What is this? It's like a throwable. <clears throat> nice throw, idiot. Can I bring it over here? No, that's it. The answer lies in the junkyard.
I can't activate that magnet and then run over here, can I? Probably not. So he's like patrolling now. Can I... Does he only patrol up there? Because I might be able to use that. Silently. Quietly now. Quietly now. Where is this guy? There you are. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Come on. This is it, this is it, this is it. Come back. Got a live one. Huge. All right. My name is Ethan Thomas, and I solve big problems. I just love that those guys are like more metal than they are like actual humans, so they just come out as huge metal cubes. Hey. Yeah, it's me. I'm sorry. What happened earlier wasn't your fault. Uh, Stay here. Okay, that was a uh, wicked interaction. <laughs> What's up? Hmm? Where are you? What's up? You wanna fight? Come here. Douche! <laughs> the fuck? Oh. Scripted scene. Okay. D Whoa! I just snapped my knee back into place? What the fuck? Oh shit. Oh, it's one of these scenes. Okay. Are they throwing shit at me? What the fuck? Yeah, they are. You need to throw it. Stop throwing stuff at me. Oh, they're throwing shit at me. What the hell? <laughs> oh, it's so hard to aim with a controller. How does anybody do it? Ugh, okay. Yeah, bro, what is this, man? Actual ghetto turret section. Don't, 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 no throwing, no throwing. Stop throwing shit at me. A actual hit scan brick. Oh, get off me, get off me, never mind me. They jump in me! They jump in me! Oh, wow. I gotta lean forward in the gamer chair for this one, guys.
Alright, so I'm just gonna have to... Uh, Stop, don't shoot me, dog! Where is he? Where is he? There he is. Got him. No, 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 no! Oh. Whew. What the hell was that? <laughs> Vine boom. We're here. Stay still. You're losing a lot of blood. Yeah, we won, baby. I need to get up. I need to keep moving. I don't think that's a good. <laughs> yeah! We need to get you to a hospital. I'm going up top to call for help. You stay right here. Rosa. You'll be okay. Don't worry. No. Trust no one. Don't let them get to you. I won't. Now just sit tight. I'll be right back. I'm not going to sit tight. I There's bombs I need to kill, dude. <laughs> oh man, this game is like just covered in a, you know, like a fine layer of dirt, dude. It is just so icky. Voice attack. I've unlocked the newest voice attack. Unlocks your natural ability to perform a powerful sonic voice attack that causes enemies' heads to explode. What? It's been a long road, hasn't it? Oh, what the hell? I, I thought I killed you. Same. I represent all your demons, Ethan. <laughs> Alcohol was just one of them. What now? Acceptance. <sighs> of what? That I'm a freak? That I'm slowly losing it? To some degree, yes. Your hallucinations are an unfortunate side effect of their influence. It's what they want you to experience, but it's not real. I'm not real. This guy's a really useful hallucination. Vox Remedium Unis. The voice, the remedy, the one. That's what's real. Enough! I don't want to hear it. It's what you are. It's what the Oro fears most. Many have died to protect you, Ethan. Including your parents. <laughs> no. Acceptance. No. Even. Acceptance. Oh. Ethan's gonna go fucking crazy mode. The Peninsula. We've made it, boys. Voice attack ability has awoken in you to initiate rapidly pull the... Rapid... A short rest is needed between attacks. Alright. <sighs> Oh, guys, what the fuck is up with the rendering? Guys, what is going on with the rendering? Okay, I can't look over there, apparently. 
Fucking hell. Can I look at the floor? Oh. There's something in this room that is, like, killing the rendering. Holy shit. Hold on. I think it might be, like, something to do with the, uh... With the em emulator? Give me a sec. Okay, uh... Okay. We might just have to see if we can, like, thug this shit out. Okay, so... If I look anywhere that, like, needs a crazy amount of rendering, it dies. What is this shit? Can I get through it? Can I get through it? Is there any end to the- to the renders? To the render problems? Well, this is a good spot. Any- any end, any end. Don't worry guys, I'm persistent. This won't be the end of the run. a little bit. Okay, so look, looking at this view, I feel like I'm blind, bro. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, th there's got to be something I can do here, right? There's got to be something I can do. To help render this shit. What? Uh oh. I just crashed the emulator, guys. Sega. Sega. Oh! Oh! Yes! Alright, we just needed a nice little reset of the uh, emulator. Okay, we're... Game's back on, boys. Game's back on. Sega. I wonder if that's explosive. Hmm. Alright. 
Now we're taking care of business. All my homies hate the Oro. Wait, I got a holster now? Damn, how do I access that? Wait, 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 wait. Where's my holster? Okay, cool. So guys, I have a gun in my holster and I, I can't pull it out. <laughs> Classic. Hey guys, what's up? I got, I got something for you. Check this out. Push road down. Oh, what the hell? Nice. Okay, so this is meant to be like a really epic last level, but with like, with the, the tons of enemies, you know. The shooter sequence, but this game just isn't a shootery type of game, you know? It, it just doesn't really feel, the shooting just does not feel great. Like that's, that's why the first game. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm at, I'm yelling. Really... That's just why the first game didn't really uh, have shooting sections. Fuck out of way. Yeah, and so the gunplay is just really stiff because like it, it, it carries over a lot of gameplay from the first game and Ethan has always just been, he's a, been a brawler, he's not a shooter, you know? Bro, what is this combine ass tech, bro? One sec, one sec. Holy crap. Thank you, 12 people, for tuning in. I appreciate it. Just like... Oh, shit. 
shit. Oh, I, I guarantee it. People are being gonna start crawling into these little sections. I'm gonna have to. Oh wait, no. I could just leave. No. Whoa! Saw you streaming because the algorithm showed me your favorite years. Whoa, shit! <laughs> Next snap. Oh. Well, uh, yeah. Thanks for tuning in, dude. I'm glad that the algorithm's actually showing you my videos. Sometimes I feel like the algorithm hates me. Oh. But yeah, I got a ton of videos. Uh, ah. What a thrill. <laughs> Didn't get a notification of what? That uh, I'm streaming? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to start telling people. I'm gonna have to start doing the, the YouTuber thing where I'm like, please press the like button. Please subscribe. Please also press that notification bell because YouTube doesn't tell any of you that I post. What a ridiculous concept, by the way, that you could turn, that, that it's automatically off. Like you subscribe to per a person and YouTube's like, oh, so you don't want to know when this guy posts, right? You don't want to like, you don't want to know when new videos are out? No, no, of course not. Oh, okay. Oh, it's not gonna start shooting me, is it? What the hell? Alright, come here then. When the superpowers fail, I got my fists. What the hell are these? These superpowers, bro, they suck. I don't want to sacrifice their precious helicopter. Sorry. Oh, shit. Thank you. No. 
Where? Where? Rat. Rat. Rat positioning. Ooh, can I have those bullets? How many? How many you go for me? Thirty! Oh me! Holy dooly! Be right back, guys. One sec. So Okay. Whew. Been streaming for two hours. Doesn't feel like it. And the weird thing is I don't even think the game is good enough to like make me lose my track of time, <laughs> so... What does that say? Where are you going, dude? Where's your gun going? What? Oh shit. Hey, what's up? Uh. Weakest helicopter in all of gaming? Question mark. Who the hell is that? Oro man. Who are you? Yep, that was a really weak helicopter. Gordon Freeman would have had that thing down in two seconds. Oh! I'd love to know why the flashlight is so inconsistent in this game. Like, is it a tool that I can use or isn't it? Ethan, this is Rosa. I should be angry, but I have expected you would go on alone. Sorry, but I have shit to take care of. There's no sense in risking your neck tagging along. I understand. Look, when you need me, I'll be there. Good luck. Oh yeah, my leg's just okay, by the way, apparently. Like, didn't Ethan have a massive piece of rebar in his leg? Oh. 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 Yeah. 
No, okay, I'll let you go. All right. It reminds me of uh, Evil Within, where you get like, like your legs slashed open by a chainsaw in the first five minutes, and then he's just okay. I bet this would be an epic fight if I could see it. Is that Chris Walker? Can Damn. Where are we? What is this, the Citadel? Bro, bro thinks he's the fucking Half-Life Citadel. Crackhead Citadel. Snap. Oh, snap. Oh. Chill, chill, chill. Don't have to do that. So I would be lying if I said that I'm not interested to see where the story goes, but I will say I miss when this game, well, when I thought that this game was about fighting crackheads. Is Dorland really the main villain of this game? What a lame villain. All He's like a SWAT officer, dude. He's like nothing. He's a low-grade dude. What? Why is he so high up in Oro organization? to get it now okay or I have special devices have devised special head and jaw apparatuses that allow them to radiate deadly sonic projectiles stay clear and or suffer serious brain damage oh, okay. got it <laughs> fucking oh man spring trap spring trap sound effect fuck off Get away from me, dude. Get away from me. You know what I say to that? You know what I say to that? Okay, that does nothing. I was thinking my superpower is going to be way cooler, by the way. Oh, I can't see shit. Oh. 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 Oh man. Can I pull out the holster yet? I really need that gun. Shut the fuck up! Dude! <laughs>
Alright. Let's try that again. Get out of my way! Wait, I oh, like. I'm stuck. Oh shit! All right, dude, I'm gonna throw this axe at you. You better die from one hit, dude. No. Nope. Guess we're doing this one then. All right, what are my controls? Okay. Somehow the controls menu doesn't tell me what my controls are. That's nice. I just like to know how to unholster my gun. Oh wait, 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 wait. I got something for him. This is actually really fucking annoying. Woo, <laughs> we made it. Oh, this audio, dude. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Gun? No gun. Shut down. Okay, had to go a bit insane with style there for a sec. Alright. What the heck is that? Alright, let's shut this down. I'm shutting this operation down. Bye. 
So what is this table anyway? Doesn't matter. Okay. Is that a locker? Yeah! What the fuck is hitting me? Oh shit. <coughs> Boom! Oh, this is crazy. What is going on? Ah, I gotta get out of here. Okay, what are, what are we actually like in the Combine Citadel right now? What What are we looking at? I don't know who said it a couple hours ago, but you're right. This game has jumped to the shark just a little bit. Just a little bit. The city is under constant surveillance. And soon, our systems will be in full operation, further propagating our sonic ability. There's no escaping us, Mr. Thomas. You don't have the fucking right influencing people's lives like this. Let's go. Where's your buddy gone? Where's the other guy? You really bet you feel real stupid up there, don't you? Oh, here he comes. Damn it. <sighs> come on, come on! Oh, oh shit! <clears throat> Hold on. I need to charge up my big yell. With a rebel yell, she cries more, more, more. Come here. Yeah, not so cool without your sonic mask now, are ya? Dorland, I'm gonna beat the shit out of you and your stupid voice. Do you think he talks like that so he gets his sonic powers, man? <laughs> He actually sounds like Senator Armstrong if he was younger and less cool, right? They harden in response to physical trauma. With a rebel yell, he cried more, more, more. So, all of Metro City is under surveillance. Right. I wish we had, like, more idea of the scope of it. Or, you know, their goals, at least. Can I climb up here? Oh, wait, no. I gotta go on the bottom version. Like, what is the Oro's goals? I, I still don't know. World domination? Why? And if it's world domination, why are they just making everybody crazy? Like, their goals are to force human evolution to... Be like 
the the humans that can do big yells, but why is that really that special? I mean, big yell, yeah, it's cool, but step away. They will continue to influence people. Watch them, shape them, manipulate them. Your purpose, Ethan, is to push back. Be the voice of tomorrow. The cure that puts an end to the sickness they bring. Stop! Look what I've done. What have I done? I still don't know what this place is. <laughs> Oh! Shit. Uh, uh, probably, probably not in there. Oh shit. Okay, chill. Yeah, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. What the hell did you do? Forget Dorlin. Get out of there. I blew up everything. He's unfinished business. Where is Dorlin? Okay, I've got help arriving soon. Help? Who? Do you think we would allow ourselves to self destruct? <laughs> Is that Dolan? Is that, is that Dolan over here? Played the first one and loved it. Heard the second one was Trash Barrel Fire. It's uh, really not as good as the first, I'll say that. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, he can resist that. You want some? Next snap. Oh, you want some too? Okay. okay. Oh. Hey, how come Dolan's not the main boss fight now? It's just some crackhead. Where the fuck is Dolan anyway? Oh, he's just strolling, taking a big stroll. All right, probably only have to do that like one more time, right? Ready to give a big punch! Oh. oh, okay. Never mind. I'm really fucking this. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Throw that. Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Am I a Sigma? What the fuck does that mean, dude? Why Sigma males are more- he's not even walking. The walking animation- oh, oh shit. Oh, he's coming. He's coming, everybody. <laughs> oh! Do I have to do the whole fucking thing again just because I failed one quick time? That is so like condemned criminal origins too. Am I will it winning? Uh I'm playing I'm still playing this game, so. Boom! 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 Yeah! Eat shit, Dorland. Ethan, please listen 
to me. You need to get off that thing before it collapses. No. I'm killing this guy. <laughs> You're a fool. Shut up. What are the Oro's motives? World domination. To create hostility. The unwavering desire to fight. <laughs> to, to unknowingly become protectors. Protectors from what? Tell me. You don't know, do you? Christ, you're the fool. A puppet like everyone else. Yeah. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> this game, bro. Enjoy the scenic route, asshole. Yeah. Yeah, Ethan said that. Are we going into the sunset? It a bit close, wouldn't you say? Would he come back? Well, you made it. That's the important thing. Anyway, the you know what has really hit the fan. You've uncovered something big, and I suspect over the next few weeks more will be weeded out. Good thing, too. Some really influential people belong to the Oro. <clears throat> hey, buddy. Soon as they fix that leg up. Let's say you and I go get a drink. I don't think so, LaRue. Right on. Hey, man. Call me Pierce. My friends call me Pierce. <sighs> what I need is some sleep. Is that the end? Is that the end? Is there, is there any more? No, oh, no. Whoa! There's more story, everybody. George W. Bush! Uh, Mr. President, what about the increase in violence? It appears to be a national problem. We're looking into the issue. We're also supporting all local agencies in their efforts to... Oh, um, excuse me for a moment. The remedy is among us. <laughs> no, don't say that. <laughs> among us? Among us? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that if we also watch the post credits, there's like a there's a post credit scene where um where serial killer X becomes an Oro. Uh, what is there to say about that game? Why is Monolith so good at fucking their IPs? Can anybody tell me that? Shut up, I don't want to hear That's it. Me. That's me, Ethan Thomas. I, I, I'm, I'm actually just like, I am a little dumbfounded. <laughs> I just don't understand why Monolith manages to make such great first games and then just shits the bed, you know? Like, the first Condemned, that game had everything. It had the, the atmosphere... It had the gameplay, it had the story, 
yeah, I mean, even if the even if the the writing was a little off at sometimes, it, it was still like a good time all around. This game is a bunch of unique steers yes, that don't really mean anything in the long run. Fanged Hobo, Demon, Lollipop Lady, Rabid Bear, Magic Man, Eldritch Tower. Yeah, it feels like just a weird ass, like, it feels like a fever dream to play. Like, I just feel like there's not enough context given to a lot of the game to make it all really work. I mean, like, discount Harley Quinn. Uh, it, it made sense in Condemned 1, because... In Condemned 1, it, it was like, shit in this city is really bad, uh, and we don't know why, and you slowly discover that th by reading the reports, and and then, like, you're on the run from the FBI, so you have to be going through all of these condemned places, but, like, here, you accidentally, uh, like, run into a building and you have to fight some dude, like a vampire or something like that, you know, that's how it feels. It just feels like it's... Yeah, this game really went over overboard with all of it. I don't I I had fun, but I think that is a shit condemned game. <laughs> like I I think I feel like there's another condemned that there could have been a much better condemned to that's way more faithful. I mean like where's the vibe gone? There's no more vibe in this game, you know? Like it, it's <sighs> In the original, it felt like you were watching a kind of, like, serial killer documentary. It, 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 felt, it felt like they would make, it was like you were watching a serial killer documentary, you know, like, found footage. Like, you were reading through files of this crazy thing that happened. The, the whole vibe of, like, hunting serial killers while, make, like, on the run, you know, making your way through all these horrible locations. It was such a cool vibe, and they really, like, kept it... Like, they kept it there until the last bit where they introduce the Oro, but they don't introduce the Oro in this, like, crazy cult way. They're like, like, you know, this, they, they don't really even explain it, but it, it made a sense, you know? So, uh, uh, this one, right off the bat, they're like, hey guys, this is why the birds are dying, you know that big mystery? Uh, that, was, that was a little disappointing, I'll say. It was a little disappointing from the first game, but I've kind of come to expect that from Monolith. They probably had no idea where the story went when they came up with the first game, and this was the result. Yeah, I that that's exactly what I think. They were throwing stuff at the wall, and a lot of it worked. In fact, if you actually think about it, that's where a lot of Monolith games go. They start with a lot of ambiguity, or, you know, you could call it feigned depth in a game. And then their sequels just don't do anything with it. it. It is really weird. I was actually thinking about it earlier today. Monolith games have a weird thing where back when they were doing these their first uh, games, you'd have the really deep story and everything like that. And then you, after that, they would throw away all of the depth they came up with. They would get rid of all the context. They're like, all of these questions in, in, you wanted... He has unsatisfying answers. Uh, just no ambiguity. It, it's... <sighs> Dude, that was sad. Have I read the wiki article in these games? They plan to make this a big multimedia franchise with a movie in the screenplay. The reason... No, you're fucking with me. No way it's meant to be aliens. No way. <laughs> uh-uh. Hold on, wait, we're gonna investigate this. I'll be right back. One second. Holy shit, guys. 
I just solved Condemned. I just realized what this series is about. Just taking a piss and I realized everything. Okay, so if you say it's aliens, right? What Dorland was saying that... So, the Oro, pretty much, they were probably given the powers by the aliens 3,000 years ago. And then they were given the... They were told how to make these kind of things that incite violence. And... Only now, when they create the sonic emitter, can they truly create uh, chaos. The, it's an invasion plan. So you create enough chaos that the aliens come down and then they say, we will protect you. And then they switch off the emitters and then everyone's like, holy shit, they saved us. So it's like a false flag operation. That would make a lot of sense. But that's fucking stupid. I'm going to say that. <laughs> Hold on. Let's read the wiki. Condemned to Let me just slot this up in here. Yeah, where is this shit? Bro. Is this it? Nope, that's not it. Game capture three. I want you to capture Firefox, please. Can you do that for me? Is that possible? Lovely. It's not showing up. That's awesome. Bro, some of this shit just won't show up. Hold on. Discard. Uh, get rid of that. Bro, what is this? This isn't working. Uh, this isn't working. Condemned to the mugshot. Yeah, real. Uh, okay, game capture. Can I still not capture this shit? Oh, wow. Alright, we're just going to do... Let's do a little display capture. There you go. Then I'm going to put 
may up here. Cool. All right, everybody, let's let's read about Condemned Two, baby. Let's take a look at the development of this shit. So, uh, one of my favorite things is that Ethan Thomas, the guy that played him, I, I looked this up, but Ethan Thomas just left. <laughs> like, he, he, oh, what the fuck, man? The stream quality has gone so bad. Oh, no. Guys, I don't, I don't think we can do internet browsing. <laughs> Damn. Uh... What the hell is going on with this? Anyone else love OBS? I love this shit. It doesn't work. Ever. Alright. Um, yeah. So, OBS is, uh... Not gonna let us read about Condemned 2. But, is it a was it actually meant to be aliens? Because I can believe that. I can absolutely believe that they would do something that unbelievably stupid the blood shot oh no uh oh okay we're, <laughs> we're going into the fight club guys yeah oh shit What are you looking at me for, dude? Oh, I'm sorry. Throw a brick. Throw a brick. Throw a brick. Throw a brick. This is a wicked extra feature. Can I get down there? No? Okay. This, uh, this is, uh, <sighs> yeah, honestly. Well, everybody, that was condemned to, oh no, you just saw my, you just saw my, <laughs> uh oh. Just take a, I'm, I'm taking a look at the wiki right now. I just want to see, like... Development... Cutscenes... We spent a good night, amount of time developing a new process to get cutscenes into the game. Did you? For the cinematic... For the sequel, Alan and cinematic director Rocky Newton decided to pre-render all the cutscenes. Oh. Privacy invasion! Oh my gosh. Man, this is just like... Generally favorable reviews. Future... 
All right, guys, here, here's the future. This is the future of the game series. In a Facebook post in January 2015, Jace Hall, Monolith co-founder and co-creator of Condemned Concept, as well as the sole owner of the IP, Jace Hall owns the IP? A single guy owns the IP. <laughs> what the hell? That is insane. Oh, that monolith doesn't own Condemned? Wow. Okay. He addressed the fact that he is frequently asked about Condemned 3. Noting that both of the Condemned games sold well, he said, I am contemplating finding an interested and proven indie development team so they can take over the franchise and move it forward. Okay, one sec, one sec. I've not approached anyone. I have received some inquiries over the last 24 hours. Ultimately, I tell them just to send me a proposal for consideration. I have no limiting parameters on the proposal. My desire is to fully empower the development team with decision-making authority. Hmm. I'm going to grant a license to use the condemned franchise in general and the chosen developer will be able to pick what kind of game they want to make if they choose their vision of the game they can choose their vision of the content they can build up momentum perhaps a prequel perhaps a simple mobile app phone for starters it's all on the table i'm open to hearing ideas noting that condemned noting that the condemned game was originally conceived as a part of the expanded universe that was never brought to fruition he pointed out that all potential for different mediums is still there. Perhaps it would make sense for a mobile app developer to make some one kind of game derived from the Condemned universe and then an entirely different developer create a console game that is Condemned 3. Perhaps that is happening. Some graphic novel artists want to make take the franchise and produce a book. There is room for all things and ideas. I'm going to be completely honest, dude. I don't really trust this guy with the IP. I get it's his IP and everything, but like he doesn't really seem to... I don't know, what is it? He seems to be a little flippant with it. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, man, whatever, whatever. Just like, go ahead, do it. Just do, do anything. I don't give a shit. If you search for an in info, there's an article in the first game under this section, Expanded Universe. Let's see. Condemned Expanded Universe. Here we are. Okay. Reception. Expanded universe plans. Let me just turn this down. This is... Uh, okay. In October 2005, Warner Bros. announced plans to release a film tied to the upcoming Condemned Criminal Origins. The plan was for the film to take place in the same fictional universe as the game, rather than being an adaptation. And ultimately, the Condemned universe would gradually expand across multiple video games and films. This expanded idea was the J this expanded universe was the idea of Jace Hall and Nathan Hendrickson. Hall, formerly Monolith CEO and current Vice President of Warner Bros. Interactive Entertainment, said that they wanted to... Is he actually? Vice President. What is he? No, he's just doing stuff. We... Okay, so he's... They wanted to come up with something specifically designed to use multiple mediums to tell stories, and that had some continuity and connective thread. We wanted to create an, a universe that felt like Star Wars was big enough to where different stories could exist. Indeed, as well as the game and film, Hall had mapped out a storyline that would encompass three additional games, culminating in Condemned 4. With the film named Species X... <sighs> Kurt Stutter was hired to write the script, and Basil, I, I Wanik, oh, okay, that's not, I thought it was I Wank, and David S. Goya, Goya, doesn't this guy, guy make like really shit movies? He wrote on Batman v Superman, he wrote on Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D., 
Yeah. I, I, I somehow, I, I've heard that this guy does not make the greatest shit. Okay, um... They were on board as executive producers. The story followed a police officer hunting down a serial killer, but along the way, he discovers the killer may be tied to other still open murder cases. As he discovers he has supernatural abilities, the cop begins to question his own nature, eventually discovering that he has alien origins. Ultimately, he is dragged into a war between two alien races and must reconcile his humanity with his alien DNA. In August 2007, it was revealed that the film had been named Unforgettable and had hired as a director. Nothing more was heard on the project until after the film. And after that, the film was never made, with the only expansion of the game story being found in the video game sequel. <sighs> what a shit show, dude. This is... Okay, what the hell? Alright, what the fuck? No, Condemned is not the game that you turn into an expanded universe. Aliens? Are you... Are, are you serious? Oh. Oh. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. What the... What? There's any, is anyone else finding this as ridiculous as me? Just... A aliens? I want to turn it condemned into a shared universe. That is the dumbest idea I think I've heard in a very long time. Condemned is about going around uh, abandoned places and beating the shit out of homeless dudes. What the hell does that have to do with alien? <laughs> Can anyone tell me what that has to do with aliens? You know? Alien DNA, they lost their rocker, dude. The monolith supernatural universe with Condemned and Fear. I That would have been better, right? If Condemned was mixed with Fear, that's the way to go. But Condemned mixed with Aliens? There is no connective tissue between sci-fi aliens and, and fucking beating up bums in a fucking bowling alley. Like, <laughs> what the hell? That was the stupidest idea I think I've ever heard. That is like worse than anything that came out of Fear 3. What the fuck? What the actual fuck? I need to think about this for a second. This is... So what? Was Condemned condemned to be shit from the beginning? <laughs> I mean, like, I liked the first game and all, but Condemned 1 was setting up a shared universe, which was eventually going to lead into Aliens. What a crap idea. What an absolute crap idea. Oh. Real talk, most games don't translate to movies or a lot of mediums. Yeah. This is, uh... Oh, I'm gonna really rip this game a new one in the retrospective. It actually pisses me off what they were trying to do with Condemned. This is... Uh, Condemned is a lot of things, and, um... Well, let, let, Condemned is a lot of things, and... A, a supernatural alien shooter is not one of them. I will say that right now. I I just I don't I don't even know what to say. Like that is just incredible. What is that? What kind of sign off can you do when you just condemned? What what comes to mind when you think of condemned? Abandoned buildings, uh, cults, uh. Uh, horror, you know, it, it's serial killers, it's, you know, Monolith has a real problem with, like, going off their rocker, like, ha has anybody noticed this? Monolith makes games, and they have, 
that they have this amazing ability to make games that have like really excellent ideas, like really excellent premises when you don't know all the information. And then the more they try to fill out the information, the more stupid it sounds. Like to the point where it almost ruins the original premise where you're like, why do I even like this? This is dumb. Everything it was setting up, all these questions, they have stupid answers. Like I don't even know the answers yet. But I already know they have stupid answers. I'm pissed off, man. This is like nearly ruined Condemned for me. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm in grief. <laughs> Condemned would be made into a decent horror slash thriller movie by a competent director. Think like Seven with supernatural elements. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. Not aliens, though. Not aliens. I, I, I am I am gobsmacked guys this is like this is a genuine B4 Brandos bamboozling I am absolutely gobsmacked this is like gotta be the worst thing I've ever heard <laughs> the worst idea in all of gaming this is uh I'm gonna make fun of this shit so much I literally this is this might be the newest like gold standard for stupid shit ever. <laughs> Maybe something like Dead Space with artifacts and stuff. I think the Dead Space keeps it pretty tight, you know, like you learn about an alien civilization and it doesn't go like stupid mode. But the thing is Dead Space is already a space game. So, you know, you got to like cut it a bit of slack, I guess. You know, it's just what do we do now guys do i end stream and go work on the fear 3 video or what do you guys want to do Yeah, or honestly, dude, you have probably shaped the... W uh, you have completely uh, changed the way that the Condemned 2 video is going to go down. Because uh, when I just finished the game just then, I was just thinking, you know, it's a pretty, like, shit sequel. But knowing what they were trying to do with it... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, let's see what I got on Steam. What do I have on Steam? Do, 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 do. Do I have this installed? You have any other monolith games? Nah, I don't have any other monolith games. <clears throat> Besides, I, I'm trying to. Ho I, I think I'm gonna hop off the fear, the sort the, the monolith train after I do Condemned Two, because I just there's not many other ones that really interest me that much. And I, there's also there are other developers out there that do other games. <laughs> and monolith is actually what a what a weird company. The, has anyone ever seen a company with such inconsistent quality? I don't think I have. It's downright impressive. Another battery for the camera. B4 no monolith needs to take a break. <laughs> yeah, B4 monolith. Uh, B4 monolith is going to stop doing YouTube. B4 monolith is over. 
Uh, Batman games? I don't have any installed right now. I had to install a, uninstall a bunch of games last night because they just weren't working. Like, it, my, my computer's just running out of storage. Oh, man. Too bad I uninstalled System Shock. I haven't finished that game yet. Nah. Alright. I think I need to be responsible. I need to uh, keep working on videos. <laughs> you know, I can't just keep playing games. I, I got a backlog already, so... <laughs> Alright. I am uh, going to go and work on... Uh, the fear three video, but everybody thank you very much for showing up to the stream. Uh, it has been Fun Maybe I don't know uh, I'm, I'm gonna have to have a think about it <laughs> But anyway, oh uh, yeah, everybody th thanks for stopping by. Uh, I enjoyed it. I'll see you guys Next stream don't know when that is but if not probably see you next video. Oh, sorry My mistake I didn't uh, my mistake, uh, there's actually some stuff I've got to talk about before I sign off. Okay, let's see where we're at right now. We are, so we're sitting at... Whoa, okay. Okay, so at the current time, we are sitting at 9,682 subscribers. Uh, and so I don't really usually do subscriber milestone, uh, celebrations just cause I don't know. I usually have like really big hit videos and really like not so big hit videos. So it, 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 when I get the big hit videos, it's kind of useless to celebrate 5k, 6k, 7k. Cause it's just like, bah, bah, bah. but 10k that's been a long time coming. That's like that. That's the next level. So I'm really excited about that. And we are doing a celebration, uh, it was decided a couple of weeks ago by chat that we were going to be playing Hunt Down the Freeman for a 10k <laughs> a 10k celebration stream. So be on the lookout for that happening. Um, I will probably stream that either on the night that I hit 10k or I'll, I'll just let you guys know. Um, I'll also be dropping a 10k video with uh, some announcements on stuff that's happening with the channel now that we're hitting 10k. Uh, some stuff that I've been waiting to do until I actually got to this milestone because, you know, I, I feel like it's be, it's like a, it's a, an earning it kind of thing. Uh, you know, I, I've been holding off on doing some things with the channel because I don't want to just, you know, generic YouTuber number one billion. So... Uh, and, and, you know, just like try and squeeze everything out of my audience. So yeah, I, I've got some announcements at 10k. So we'll let, I'll, uh, release that at the time. So yeah, next time you'll probably hear from me, either fear three video or 10k, whatever happens first, I will see you guys then. Anyway, see you later.